Welcome back to FTL, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bear, and it is time to start off on a new game, having fallen to the flagship in our past exchange. And, uh, you know what I think I'm gonna do, actually, is go for a random ship this time. Looks like we're gonna play as the Taurus, the NG ship, if I recall correctly. In fact, I think that is one of the only three that I have available to me. We can probably try the Stealth Cruiser out in some, uh, future episode here, but for now, let's go ahead and rock the NG. Call it good, uh, hardly lifted a finger, apparently I've unlocked one of the, uh, necessary, or one of two necessary achievements for Layout B here as well, but regardless of all that, uh, the NG Cruiser is a very, very interesting specimen, so let's go ahead and start off here while I'm talking about this puppy. Uh, in regards to the fact that it's, uh, pretty drone-reliant, as far as I've been aware. I mean, I, it's not, uh, it's not 100% necessary to go drone-heavy, of course. If you had the option to, you could probably just find a bunch of, uh, crazy-ass weaponry and equip it with that, because, you know, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. But, what, uh, the, uh, the game kind of alludes to the fact that it'd like for you to use drones as efficiently as you possibly can in the entry cruiser, considering, uh, the upgrade is already there, and they already have a combat drone available. Available to them. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Yeah, we'll go respond to that. Great, I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier's late these days. Or days late, rather. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. We can't afford to pay another carrier, but they'll surely tip you generously. Sweet! Alright, there's five more drone parts for me to do as I will with. Of course, I could just completely ignore that guy and take five drone parts for myself. But being that we are already in, uh, dire straits here, having just restarted again, then, uh, I mean, like, that sounds kind of silly, but you pretty much are screwed when you start off. <laughs> uh, we'd, we'd like to, we'd like to make that quest happen. You detect a rebel automated ship does not engage. You know, this, uh, I think we can handle this. So... We'll do our first attack here. They have a drone of their own, but we're not going to be too worried about that, except for the fact that they just hacked my weapons room. Good God. That's scary. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, though. So what we're going to want to do here is uh, fire an ion blast at the shield system and hopefully disable that enough for our drone to do some damage. It's a really cool combo, in my opinion, actually. The fact that the, uh, the ion blasts is such a great symbiosis with the... Uh, with the combat drones, and if I can get more than one of them, it'd de definitely help us out. It looks like they're firing with ion blasts as well. I'll go ahead and hover over this for you guys that may not be aware of how that ship system works. And there you go. You access the recent scans from the unguarded station. Your map has been updated with details of the surrounding area. We got nine scrap out of that. Certainly not the most uh, helpful amount, but we are in the beginning still, so we got quite a ways to go. Now, that is actually a very, very good tell. That nine scrap may not have been that great, but to know everything, pretty much, about this first sector, that seems like it may have been worthwhile. So let's head over to this distress beacon, of course. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance. It ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone's on board. Hail them! Vessel's relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. Oh, unfortunately, I don't have the missiles they need. Well, that's a damn shame. All right, not too valuable of a uh, jump there. I'm wondering if I can go all the way around like this. What I could try, I don't even know actually whether or not this is gonna allow me to, oh man, that might just be a completely isolated jump, so I might have to do this and then hope that I can get back around in time. I really hope this trip is worth it, man, because this is not looking too profitable for me. You detect an automated rebel scout, let's do it. Intervene to defend the outpost, so this will mean two rewards if I manage to take down this ship, which I don't think we'll have too many problems with. They do have a combat drone of their own, though. I think I might want to disable that, but uh, then again, it's usually in my best interest to uh, disable shield systems first and foremost, although they just did destroy mine or my weapons. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, that's just the weapon system. No big deal. We can fix that right up. Come on, buddy. Come on. Are you fixing it? It's just gonna take you a while, isn't it? Ooh, this, uh, that's actually a very bad thing. You know, I may need to bring this guy over. We're gonna sacrifice evasion chance, uh, to hopefully get these repairs going a bit more quickly. There we go. Alright, that's better. In fact, I should reset my, uh, positions as well, but for now, let's go ahead and re-equip the ion blast. Get that on the shields. My combat drone is somehow doing a lot of damage to him, so it's not looking like I should worry about, uh, taking damage myself again. So that's a very, very good thing. We also have, uh, the augmentation. I probably should have pointed that out. I'll just do so after we are, uh, finishing up with this little bout of combat here. Come on now, buddy. You got it. All's well. 
Just one more blast. Nice and patient, man. That's how you gotta be with the NG ship. There we go. Beautiful. Ship breaks apart and you salvage a missile, drone part, and eight scrap. The outpost hails you. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by these scouts. Take three fuel, one drone part, and 17 scrap. Good stuff. So, one of the augmentations I wanted to talk about is the NG Medbot dispersal, which requires a powered medbay to function, and NG Nano Medbots heal the crew outside of the medbay, which is amazing. Very, very helpful little augmentation there. I really like that about this ship. Let's go ahead and save our current crew positions and make a jump to the quest marker that is completely isolated from everything else. You arrive at the location given to you by the merchant. You are supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here. Just find a small research station and discover that it's putting out a distress signal. Huh? No response to your hails. Let's dock with it. There are signs of a great struggle. Scientists lay dead where they fell brutally dismembered. Good God. Grab a few research drone parts lying on a desk near the door and leave quickly. All right, well, that could have gone better, but we got what we came for, I guess. I may run into a rebel ship here. This is not looking too uh, too good for me. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to get going very, very quickly here. Let's hope. Oh, I'm going to jump into rebel space, man. This is not good. Yep, there they are. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good, man. This is this could be an early exit for us here if I if I don't manage to play my cards exceptionally well in this particular circumstance. So, obviously, first option going to be trying to disable those shields so we can deal some damage. And uh, I'm going to have to disable them even further than that. Actually, I might want to turn on auto fire for this particular fight. Uh, this isn't going to work for me at all. Might just want to disable their weapon system over and over. Actually, if I do that, oh no, there's some damage. There's some damage to me. There goes my engine. The FTL drive charge is going to be a lot weaker now. Oh no. Well, pretty much no chance I'm going to kill this thing, so my objective here is to charge the FTL as quickly as possible. ASB target lock. That is bad news. Alright, I'm going to auto fire on the weapon system here, so let's take this like that. Don't have to worry about it. Instead, I can focus on healing up where I need to, and uh, that's going to be right here. I don't really need the faster weapon recharge as much as I need to make sure I'm not going to die. Oh boy, this is not not good. Well, it is not 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 good when I really think about it. Good lord. Well, everything's going to shit already. <laughs> oh man, this can happen in an FTL run. This is going to definitely happen in an FTL run. And I really took a big gamble going to where I did. So, oh, uh, this uh, this may be where we end off. I am, I am not stoked about the likelihood of escape here it is charging up we might get out, we might get out of here we might get out in time but it's gonna be terrible okay oh man a pulsar is flooding this area with dangerous electromagnetic forces well that's the only means of escape so let's go oh god that was really bad you arrived to find a pulsar dominating the view screen you see a small silhouette pass in front of the star before you can ponder what it is warning signals go off it appears to be a ship in a firing trajectory well, my weapons are down, so let's go fix that real quick, I guess, and everything else is kind of going to shit, too. I'm going to take you out of the engine room and replace, uh, or rather, fix up these doors in case something's lit on fire, which I don't think it is. I also need to use a combat drone immediately. As soon as I get that ion blast fix, we're auto-firing on both their weapons and shield systems. There we go. Oh, of course. Of course! Oh, we're still whittling down the- oh, god. Ion pulse. What's gonna happen here? Whoa! That's neat, actually. I kind of like that. I'm pretty screwed. <laughs> I, I don't like my odds of success in this fight, man, but I'm going to keep trying, damn it. Uh, my shields are already critical. I'm going to try to disable their shields and then their weapon system. Did I lose a crew member? No, he's just... Oh, he's in the door system. Okay, we need to go heal the shields. Heal the shields straight away. My drone is dead because the combat drone system has been completely destroyed or something. Oh, goodness. Alright, well, fix the shields up first. I'm gonna keep disabling their weapons if we can. Keep doing that. Get over here. The drone should be available. Why is this not available? It must have been disabled by the ion blast. There we go. Alright, we got that back. Let's get our sensors back online. Don't worry about shutting that door. I need Nick me to go fix our sensor bay again. There we go. Alright, keep disabling those weapons. Our shields have been disabled. That's not going to do anything, though. We can easily kill these guys now. There's a fire in there. The doors are disabled. Here we go. Okay. No problem. 
Just don't let it through. Choke it out. We gotta fix this room as well. That O2 leak is not gonna help us out at all. Uh, we need to focus down the shields again. Combat drone can't do any damage if those shields are up. Oh my god. This has been an absolute catastrophe right from the start. Oh, whoa, I got an achievement though. Okay. That's good. I don't know what it was, but we did it. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of two fuel, a drone part, and 16 scrap. We have got to get the hell out of Dodge. All right, off to the exit beacon. We might be able to hit that distress signal, but I seriously doubt it. Oh, goodness. A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort. It is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in the spectrum of frequencies and languages. Yes, refueling platform, please. Um, seems to be malfunctioning and could ignite at any moment. I don't want to refuel at risk of destroying my ship. After a short time, a few silent explosions caused the depressurized tanks to implode. Okay, I'm glad we avoided that. Oh, good God. Well... I don't want to take a chance on that distress beacon, so let's definitely go to Zoltan Controlled Friendly Space. That was an atrocious start. You arrive in Zoltan Space. From what you have heard, they anticipated the coming war and made preparations to hold their borders. Alright, well, first of all, I should probably uh, close these doors. I'm going to open up the rest of them, and I'm going to send the entire uh, NG crew to go, uh, to go fix up the leak in the hole there. Let's get that going. Luckily, the nanobots are kind of helping us out, keeping us from dying here. Back to your post, gentlemen. Lady and gentlemen. Both ladies, actually, if I'm to believe the, uh, inflection of the vowels in their names that is commonly associated with women's names in the English language. But these are aliens! I am a culturally ignorant bastard. Alright. Distress beacon may be a dangerous play, but I'd like to avoid the nebula too, and I think I can do that by going like this. See, why is it that these two are like the exact same distance away from one another, but I couldn't jump from the uh, quest beacon closer to the exit? That stinks. Oh god, okay. Another two shield ship that I have no chance of destroying. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's just escape. Let's please just get out of here and ion blast their shields to oblivion. You ain't doing shiz to me, boy. Unless I can't hurt you, and then I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, God. Well, go fix the oxygen, bud. Oh, hey, hang on a second. All right. I didn't realize we could do that. Now we're in business. Go, my combat friend. Man, maybe we're a lot better off than I su initially suspected. All right, now we got to take down those shields again. There we go. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. Combat drone's killing it. Keep disabling, man. This is working. Surprisingly, this is effective. Okay. Good, good, good. I really didn't think our ion blast could penetrate two, through uh, two shield systems at once. That really genuinely surprises me, but I'm happy with it. That's a good, good thing. And just a nice, calming combat with a pirate light cruiser relationship hostile. We got it! Okay! Again, just totally shocked me. Uh, leaves behind three fuel, a drone part, and 26 scrap. I've got quite a bit of scrap, but I also really need to fix up my ship's hull. I think I can afford to spend a little bit and uh, still have plenty left over, so let's see what I can upgrade here. Might want to look at my shields, considering I am already kind of screwed. So let's go ahead and get up to sh two shield parts, and uh, we'll need some extra power for that as well. You know what I can do if I just get this amount uh, what I can do is take out the med base, since I don't really use that anyway. Power those with those two, and then I'll have two left for the combat drone. And that already gets us up to uh, two shields. I think that's an effective use of that scrap. Hopefully it'll keep us alive for at least a little while. You stumble upon some Zoltan military vessels engaging in combat training. Their energy shields are impressive, but you note how quickly beam and iron weaponry take them down. Well, that's good to know. Alright, staying out of the nebula, let's do it. And into an asteroid field. Fantastic. You arrive in an asteroid field that are created by a Zoltan Guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. I don't have time for this. Weapon blast. Ho-hum. Two shields. You can't possibly penetrate that. You weakling. I scoff at you in your asteroid field and your environmental protection agency. 
Ha ha ha! I am NG, hear me roar! The ship explodes, leaving behind a smug sense of self-satisfaction. There we go. Got plenty of drone parts from that uh, quest line, I guess, so really that might have been worthwhile. I think I'm happy with this now. I am, uh, I am much more pleased with the way things are going at this point than I was in the past. Now that I can finally cure my ailing hull, we may be able to make something happen. Let's get all the way up to as much as I can. There we go. Fortunately, uh, cloaking would be awesome to have here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, that's worth 30, but I definitely want to keep that on board. Also, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to consider selling if I have to get something that's totally amazing. I'll crew inside a room during a hacking pulse will be stunned for the duration. That is neat. 10% cooldown and reduction on weapons. Jump to any previously. You know, that one would have been useful in Sector 1, but... Oh well. What can you do? These guys are going to be extremely slowed down going through the nebula, so I could take quite a few gambles and maybe even try to go through a couple of these nebula sectors. I'm not too scared about it anymore. I think with the uh, upgrade that I got, I may be in good shape to get through a few of these early fights. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan fighter, the freighter. The Mantis, they're here, please! You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Launch the cannons. Oh, we got intruders on board, and they're in the drone station. That means I definitely got to go try to fight them. Our nanobots are going to help us out. I do not want him to wrest control of my combat drone. That would be awful. Keep taking these shields down. I think I'm actually going to focus on the weapons for a second here. Try to prevent them from doing any terrible damage to me. Uh, I may need to get my uh, human in here to help him out, actually. This is not going well for me. All right, let's get out of here for a second. Got to disable the shields one more time so my combat drone can get through. He's not doing enough damage, luckily, to uh, to hit anything or to at least take me offline yet. If I can destroy the ship, I'm still going to have to deal with him, so I guess this isn't really helping me out there that much. And, of course, medbay is offline at the moment, too. I'm going to take off O2, put it back on medbay. Keep the shields down. Weapons are still offline, but that's all right. Or online, rather. Shields are down. One more hit for the combat drone. There we go. All right, he's still on board, so I really need to take care of him. Three fuel, one drone part, 26 scrap. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, they're probably healed up enough, and I can take Lana out as well. We can do a three-on-one situation here. Get out of my life, ye heathen. That guy is strong, man. That little bugger, he was killing me. That really stunk. Super fast repair. There we go. All right. We'll let the, uh, let the med bots do their thing. You know, actually, I might have Zeramar just sitting here for a moment as I take the O2 back off again. But I don't really need to. I've got the uh, combat drone taken off, so that'll do just fine. Heal on up, buddy. Let's get back into the, uh, into the helm where you belong. And we'll make our headway into the nebulae. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, man. I think I'm going to be okay. The What's terrible about the nebula, this is the only thing that's really scaring me. If I go in here and I experience one of those, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's whatever takes away like half of your reactor power, then I'm absolutely screwed. And that very well could happen, so that's why I'm hesitant. In fact, I think I'd much rather explore these four up here and maybe even go down this way, bounce all the way around like that, and uh, well, then I'd have to go back this way, of course, but... Pretty much these four are what I'm looking to get before the exit, so let's go ahead and play it safe here. I've already pushed my luck a bit too far, I think. The beacon at first glance seems home to a junkyard, and upon closer inspection, it reveals itself to be a ramshackle market. One trader has a deal that catches your eye, but we can't do it, so I'm really questioning why it cat your eye. Cat your eye. There's a cat in your eye. Good God! Store here that I can't afford anything from. If I sold my augmentation, I certainly could, but... No dice. Oh, man, a flat gun would be pretty awesome. As would a breach missile. Not really what I'm looking for, though. Oh, man, defense drone number two. Mark two. Sorry, yeah, that's an offensive way to address it. What is this? A slug. That looks different from what I uh, remember the slugs looking like. These telepathic slugs were shunned in the Galactic Federation for their constant thievery and attempts at manipulation. Telepathic powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. 
Oh, yes, these ones are the ones that are uh, immune to mind control. I remember that from a previous trip. Yeah, so nothing doing there. I could go back there and try to pick some stuff up if I manage to pick up enough scrap in these next couple of sectors. Zeri is off limits. Submit your ship to processing. Fight your way out. Here we go. Time to disable shields. Launch our combat drone. Oh, there's not enough power. I'm a dumbass. Here we go. There we are. I was ill-prepared for this. All right, keep it going, baby. Hey, 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 Black Betty. Do, 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 Black Betty. I wish I knew that song, man. I wish I knew music and movies and pop culture of any kind. That'd probably be a lot more relevant in my speech. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be helpful for my social life. Instead, I'm just a socially awkward bastard. That's me. Bear the socially awkward bastard taffy. Bastard taffy. That's a marketable brand right there. Just killing time while the drone does all the work for me. The ship explodes, leaving behind two missiles, one drone part, and 18 scrap. Sweet. That was more than worth it. All right. So, here's the thing. If I go here, pretty sure the fleet's going to be catching up too quickly for me to bounce back to that shop, so I might just want to let it go. Sorry, sir. There's nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel, rebel, rebel ship's weapons go hard. Oh, my God. Launch the drone. Oh, they got hacking. They're hacking the O2. Wow, that drains it quickly. My god. I should probably use my uh, my ion blast here. Oh no, they've got a drone disabler. That's bad. Luckily it doesn't destroy the thing, but that could... Oh, that could be awful for me. You know what I might want to do actually is... Oh, they destroyed it? Oh my god. That's not good. Rebuilding after unexpected destruction. Alright, we can do that. Well, I don't want to disable that one anymore. Let's try to dis disable their weapon system for a while. This hacking on my O2 is starting to freak me out a little bit, man. Alright, so we can launch the combat drone again. We're gonna take off their shields. Oh, they did it again. My god. Okay, gotta disable that drone, man. So I can do damage on my own. I've gotta disable that drone. That was a beautiful rhyme. Okay, that's disabled. He's hitting them. Their O2 system is destroyed. Disabling the drone system again. There we go. I don't think I have to worry about the O2. I think we're gonna be okay. Disable that drone. Don't let it fire. Don't let it fire. Nice. Oh, we got a good balance here. We got a good balance of things. I think I just destroyed their hacking bot as well. Oh, powering up the FTL. Time to disable that. I don't know if I had the uh, ability to do so. I think we're good. I think we got it. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. Leaves behind a fuel, a drone part, and 18 scrap. Not bad. And yep, I'm pretty sure we got to get going. Let's do it. No dice and going back to that shop, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Black market that sells missiles, don't really want that. And uh, let's go ahead and bounce. We're off to the next sector. We did it. Right on time, too. My god, they're like right there. Back to Zoltan Control territory as well. So we got to look at getting some more fuel. That'll be all next time here in FTL, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for the new run through on the NG Cruiser. And uh, so I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to totally peel back the layers of the onion here just for you guys that have been leaving these comments. I am reading the comments. Thank you very much for the likes and the support and comments and all that good stuff on the views and all the video and whatnot. I don't know what that sentence was, but uh, in regards to playing through um, entire runs in the same video, I think I might start doing that after packs. This is unfortunately a lot of pre-packs recording that can't really uh, be spared the time for, so we're just doing these in kind of broken up segments for now, but... After packs, I'll look into getting some full runs for you guys, and we'll hopefully be able to do that. But for now, this is going to be doing it for uh, part four, I believe. Or no, sorry, part six. Man, I'm getting that completely effed up. But yeah, part six of our FTL series. We're going to be ongoing for a long time with this advanced edition content. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Bear. We'll see you next time.